Hi, welcome. In this video, we'll continue our discussion of concave functions and we'll talk about an important characteristic of concave function. Let f be a function defined on a convex set S. Then f is concave if and only if the set of points lying below its graph is a convex set. So f is concave if and only if x, y in s cross r such that x is in s so this is a domain and y is such that y is less than or equal to fx is a convex set. Let us see that in pictures. For simplicity let us consider the graph of a function f which is defined on a real line. As we can see that this function is concave and we can also see that the set lying below the graph appears to be a convex set. We'll prove this formally that these two properties are equivalent. So let us first prove that if f is concave, then the hypergraph is a convex set. In order to show this, we are going to assume that f is concave and we are going to prove that the hypergraph is a convex set. If you want to show some, some set is convex, then we're going to pick two arbitrary points from that set and pick an arbitrary lambda between zero and one and show that the convex combination of those two points using that lambda will lie inside the set. So suppose F is concave, let us pick arbitrary X prime Y prime and X double prime Y double prime from the hypograph and lambda be 0 1. Using the fact that f is concave we know that for this particular x prime and x double prime f of lambda x prime plus minus lambda x double prime is greater than or equal to lambda fx prime plus minus lambda fx double prime. Now since x prime y prime and x double prime y double prime belongs to the hypograph so that means fx prime is greater than or equal to y prime and fx double prime is greater than or equal to y double prime. Now we're going to combine 3 and 4 and replace fx prime by a smaller number y prime and fx double prime by a smaller number y double prime to get this inequality. So f lambda x prime plus minus lambda x double prime is greater than or equal to lambda y prime plus 1 minus lambda y double prime. This inequality tells us that lambda x prime plus 1 minus lambda x double prime comma lambda y prime plus 1 minus lambda y double prime belongs to the hypograph. The reason is because any point x y that satisfy the property that y is less than or equal to fx belongs to the hypograph. Therefore, we have shown that the convex combination of x prime y prime and x double prime y double prime belongs to the hypograph. Therefore, the hypograph is a convex set. So we have shown that if f is concave, then hypograph is a convex set. Now let us show the converse. To show the converse, we are going to assume that the hypograph is convex and we'll show that f is concave. So suppose hypograph is convex. In order to show that f is concave, we are going to pick arbitrary points in the domain x prime x double prime and pick arbitrary lambda between 0 and 1. Now x prime fx prime and x double prime fx double prime both belongs to the hypograph. So if this is x prime, this is x double prime, So x prime fx prime and x double prime fx double prime both belongs to the hypograph. Since both of them belongs to the hypograph and hypograph is a convex set by assumption. Therefore any convex combination of these two will also belong to the hypograph. So that simply means that 
lambda x prime fx prime plus one is lambda fx double prime fx double prime which can be rewritten as lambda x prime plus one is lambda x double prime comma lambda fx prime plus one minus lambda fx double prime belongs to the hypograph. This condition implies that this particular value here is less than or equal to f of this particular value which is precisely what we wanted to show that f of lambda x prime plus minus lambda x double prime is greater than or equal to lambda fx prime plus minus lambda fx double prime therefore we have shown that f is a concave function so in this video we have shown that f is concave if and only if the hypograph which is a set of points lying below the graph of the function f is a convex set thank you